Hello and welcome to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In this demo, we are going to see how we can create React app inside Visual Studio Code and how we can deploy that React app to Azure App Services. For that, we need to have Node and NPM installed on our machine. I have already installed. Let's see that I have which version of Node. I have 18 version installed and then I can see which NPM version is installed. So I can run that one. I can see that it's installed and then I can see pass version information to check which version is that. So it is 9.5.1. If you do not have NPM and Node installed, then you can go to node.js.org and then you can download whatever version you want and which type of packages, either zip packages, MSI, based on what operating system and CPU bit size. You can download and install on your machine and then you can get started. So next command I am going to run called npx create react app and then we have to pass project name which is softwiz react demo and I am going to use the template for TypeScript. Now, if we go inside this uh, software demo where I am right now inside and we, if we see that one, we do not have that folder packages. So let's start this. So now it is going to create that folder and required file and all the packages which required for that one. So let's see that one. right now only one file is there, but it will download now and all the packages will come into proper template file. We will see what are the files and what are the folder structure look like. So now we can see that our command is completed and it says that by you can go inside that folder and you can start with npm start. And if we go inside our folder structure, we can see that command has generated node underscore modules where all the npm related packages will be there. And then we can see other things that uh, there are public folder where some of the files which is which should be public that is kept. And we can modify and delete whatever required depending upon our use case. And there are SRC folder where CSS file, TXX file and other files are there. And then some other files where packages files, package lock and TS config and other things. So we can go and run that one. But before that, if we see that one, we can see all the folder from here also but I can go inside that folder to see what is there. Let me select that. And now we can see that TS config is there where all the configuration related to TS. TS is TypeScript, so TypeScript related configuration. We have one readme file also to read that, how to start and how to test, how to run build and all the details is being generated. So this is good readme file. We can read and use that. And then we have package JSON where all the dependency packages in dev dependency and uh, deployment dependency files are there and some of the script uh, is there. And it is start with, we have one index.tsx file where it has the React app it starts with that one and then it will go to app.tsx where this file is there. So this is how the basic structure will look like. We can put the test cases inside test.tsx and all the CSS related things will come here. And then we can have component and all the different things when we will go in next videos. But right now I am going into terminal and then I can see that hey npm start as suggested right. So now it is a starting development server. Then we can see that what is the page. Now this page looks like this is our page for React. So now if we go inside uh, app.tsx and if we say that, hey, let's say that welcome to software demo, right? And I will save that one. It is right now compiling. And then if we go and see that, welcome to software demo came, right? All these details are came coming. So I can go ahead and remove whatever I want to remove. It will remove only this uh, logo. Logo is coming from app logo. We can remove that one if required. So let's go ahead and remove that. So now we can see that updated page is coming. Now let's go to our VS code. Now let's add one web.config file that is required if we are going to deploy 
inside app services so i'm going to add that and i'm going to put this content which says that about routing rules required for react application to be working fine into azure app services so that i can do let me save this file so once we add web.config inside public folder i'm going to I'm going to run another command called npm run build which will generate a optimized build to running on the production which will generate one folder here you see right now build folder is not there so right now it is coming and we can see all the profile will be moved on to proper place and then we will see another files also so now it is done so now let's go and create an app service. So right now inside our RG, we do not have app service. We have other app services. For this demo, I'm going to create a new web app. And let me create a new web app for that. So we create demo VS. Okay. And then I'm going to create in this uh, resource group node 18 lts and windows now it is asking for creation of app service or select whatever we have so i'm going to create one and it will be free tier right now it is asking for application inside resources i am going to skip for now now it is creating web app now we can see that create web app is succeeded and we can see this deployment pop up let's go to this uh, resource group and we can see our resources let me browse that one it will be default page right now let's go and try to deploy that i'm going to click on deploy now it is asking that one which folder we have to deploy so do, we do not have to deploy from root uh, because root will contain code and other things. So I'm going to browse and build is our place where we have optimized build for production. So I'm going to select that. It gave some error or it, uh, but uh, it is also asking that one that always deploy a workplace from build. Yes. So I'm going to say yes. And let's see that if it is coming something into output. Uh, it gave some error but if we go one more time into setting we can see that uh, there are setting came that this is that app service where it is going to deploy and it is going to deploy from build so now we can go one more time to build and from there also we can see deploy to web app or we can go to our app service and uh, refresh this app service so that we can see our file here and we can deploy from uh, this place also so let me deploy from this place now it is a starting deployment so it is going to zip everything and let's go to uh, we are into output section only so it is going to zip everything it is going to upload and then it is going to publish all the files so it will take some time so let's wait so now we can see that these files are being added and uh, it says that successful it was quick de uh, deployment because all these files are pre-built for uh, this purpose uh, we ran command npm run build right let's go ahead and browse website and now we can see that our website is up and that is how we can create react web app into visual studio code and we can deploy to azure app service very easily i hope you will like this video thank you very much